Hello folks, this is Audio Tron 1003 and this is the first in the uh, series of my uh, Bollard brochure videos that I said I would make. Um, I don't actually own any more any kind of uh, roadside frank road sign Franco Bollards, but I used to uh, have one and I was offered another one many years ago by a, a council depot boss who was trying to get rid of one but I didn't have space for it, so I uh, I had to refuse it. But anyway, this is the uh, the coloured leaflet that was sent to me, so there we go. So this is this one, and uh, this is the only one I have in colour, the RS12-3 VR. Um, I've seen these basically on the road many years ago, and this one, looks very very similar to uh to this bollard just here um now you can't really see much of the uh sorry as my fingers in the way you can't see too much of the panel but that there is um is basically the same as that the difference between this bollard is there is a kind of a lip or sort of crest that goes along the back it slants back and is very flat whereas this one is a typical trans glass product slash pierce gauchel bollard and it has a kind of a domed cap but for all intents and purposes they are so similar that they're it's like comparing say uh, um, a metal c-class bell box to a uh, a plastic c-class they're so similar that uh, to the naked eye from a distance you wouldn't know the difference so so anyway back to the uh the brochure so uh the rs10 vr which is what that is my bollard is a uh, um a pierce gauchel pierce gauchel k101 so uh manufacturers in those days just like any other manufacturer in any time period if they were competing with each other they would kind of modify and copy each other's ideas this is a uh, a four aspect version and these have 610l aspects the 610 represents the um, the aspect face and the r or the L just indicates left or right where appropriate so there's the the old address and uh, let's see what's inside it's a very thin brochure so there's not much to it um, what I'll try to do is not go too fast and if anybody wants to read these I'll slowly scan down the um, down the pages so that people can pause and read these things if they wish so I can't do too much about the uh, shine because if I switch the lights out no one can read anything so that's that side and uh, here's the other side okay So this one uh, pictures as a frangible bollard. The idea is that if the traffic uh, hits the base like this, it should uh, fall back. And that there is one of those uh, blue plugs that I mentioned, which um, is basically something similar to this. So that would snap shut. And uh, this cap here would close like a clam, uh, sealing off the electrical supply for those of you who uh, don't remember these these bollards and that's the um, how they're basically constructed things are slotted inside each other so the metal base this steel metal base is on the outside and everything slides in and then the cap goes over the top there it is and uh, and this is the rest of this so okay so the GRP which is glass reinforced plastic okay and if I turn to the back page we have an RS 11 600 millimeter uh, single aspect these are mainly used in junctions motorway junctions that kind of thing large roundabouts 
don't see too many of them these days if at all because a lot of the metal bollards have been removed because of health and safety reasons they damage cars um, they're very heavy as well so imagine one of these hitting your car illuminated by two times eight watt in upper and lower sections so this this and this would be illuminated and there's the next part and then down here some dimensions 1.2 meters high so uh, to give you some idea this is my uh, traffic light and that's, oh, that's my uh, rice. Um, that is uh, uh, 1.08 meters. So it would be up here. Some would say it would be taller than this thing. And those things are quite tall on their own. So anyway, moving on. This is a uh, diagram of the RS2000 bollard that I was offered. And they look very, very similar to, if I just turn, I'll just finish off this and I'll show you what they were similar to. Uh, you can see there's a, a crest just there, sloping back. And there's all the components. And how it's all put together. Right side Franco. And there's your uh, bolts and fittings. Anything on the back? No. Nope. So basically, that's that, and this is the. Uh, that's also part of it. Ball on top. Single or double aspect. So you could have something on the front and the back. There's your base light unit information. And then that's at the end. Now what I was going to show you was, was this one. Uh, just move this out of the way. This is a Pierce Gauss or K90 bollard, and it looked pretty much like this, but without the uh, Japanese bits and pieces surrounding it. So it was a, a kind of a rival to this thing, and that incidentally is what started me off with all these bollards. So, so basically, the uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was this is from a uh, signature brochure but this bollard here is a roadside frank road sign franco uh, pf94 bollard i did have one of these um, i bought it because i wanted to fill the collection but i never really liked it and eventually i got rid of it and the way i got rid of it was rather foolish but at the time it made sense because when i was collecting these things basically they all look like ex-council depot property. So I had to chop it up with a rip saw and put it in the wheelie bin. Nowadays I'd whack it on eBay for a few quid. And just to show you, that's what they're calling it now. They're calling it a central. In brackets is a PF94. And uh, that's what it is. So... Uh, so you'll often find these with uh, black lines around the uh, around the yellow panels, rather like that sort of thing. So that is an X. If you ever see them, those were originally made by uh, Roadside Franco. So anyway, that's the uh, first in the brochure. So if I just turn this back. So this is the uh, very simple video on a very small um brochure so anyway that's all i can say on this so uh, thank you for watching bye